Welcome back to another video. Today we've got not one, not two, but three displays, two computers and one docking station KVM, which will make all the management of this setup that we have right over here, which can be a setup or it can be a cockpit, just in case you want to pilot some planes or to play some racing games or any other game that you find immersive, then this might be a great solution. Now, it's not all about fun, not all about games. If we want to do some productivity in a really fast way, we all know that two displays or three displays is the best. But if we add two computers, then it's a mess. And the KVM docking station that we have right over here, it's going to help out in all this management. Now we are going to check out everything that we can do with it, the full potential and also some limitations that we might find so that it helps on your decision if this is the docking station KVM that you need on your setup. That being said, let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit, that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. And these are the package contents. So we'll find a quick user guide, which is really easy to read. I have just passed my eyes here. And although this is a complex device, which will make our life easier, it is quite easy to set up and to use. And I will share with you. So probably you will not need the quick user guides. There's also the KVM, which is probably the most important factor. Then there are six display port cables to display port. I can remove one right over here. So display port on one end, display port on one end, which are the cables that we are going to connect to the three outputs of each of the computers that we are going to use. There are also two USB type A to USB type B cables so that we can connect to the two computers to the KVM. And then finally, a power adapter, which in this particular case, I've put in the EU plug, but there's also a UK plug because it was purchased on EU. And if you are in the US, then you will have a US plug on your site. And basically these are the components that we will find inside the package. And now looking at the back, although it has a lot of connectivity because we will require to connect three displays to two computers, but it's quite easy to understand. So here is a input for computer number one. So we will connect the computer number one to this USB port here. And then each of the outputs of the computer will come in right over here on the display ports with the cables that we have just seen. The same will happen to the computer number one or number two. Actually, here is number two and here is number one, but we will do the same three display ports from computer number one and the USB. And then the these three outputs right over here will go to each of the displays that we have. So display A, display B and display C. There's also a USB type A 3.0, which also has a quick charge 1.5 amps and then DC in and Ethernet port as well. And that being said, let's go and put in this KVM on our setup. And now with our triple setup with two computers ready with the AV Access D23 KVM and docking station. This is a combo. Now, one of the things that I would like to share with you is that I've got a desktop behind this display right over here with a 3060 Ti. And I also have a mini computer here connected to that external GPU, which has a 3080 uh, NVIDIA GPU. I've got three different displays. This is a 40 inches display, 27 inches and 27 inches. So this might take some of the questions that you might have. If you have three different displays with three different resolutions, you will be able to use them. And one of 
of the things that I want to show you right now is that this display 27 inches is with a 4K resolution 3840 by 2160 the same with this 27 inches display which we can see right over here but the 40 inches for example is using 3440 by 1440 but we could go up to 3840 by 2160 which are the resolutions that this display can use but this just to take the question out of the way which is can i use different displays different sizes different resolutions with a kvm yes you can use at least with this av access d23 we will be just fine now we can see disk speed test here and speed test here because we are going to test it out as usual here on the channel but before we do we can go up to 8k at 60 hertz 4k at 165 hertz which is the more interesting resolution and refresh rate to me or if you want to go push it really hard then 1080 at 240 hertz now here we can see the kvm with the leds on this indicator here shows that it's on and this one shows that it's connected to the pc number one which is the one on my left side and if i want to change to number two i just need to click on this button here and it will change to computer number two one of the things that you might see right over there is that the computer was almost hibernating the gpu was uh, completely stopped and now it did ramp up so one of the advantages of having this kvm is that i don't need to wake up the computer once i click the button to change to one computer if it's sleeping it will wake up the computer which is something that not all kvms have now i'm in computer number two at this moment so i can multitask right over over here or I could have my games or what not which we will talk about games in just a few moments for now let's talk about productivity and work so I can use these displays to have multiple windows obviously something that we want with multiple displays but at the same time if I want to change computer I don't need to press this button if I want I can use a shortcut on the keyboard which is tab number one for example for computer number one or if I want to change to computer number two I can use tab and number two and we will go back to computer number two which is really cool so I don't need to press the button on the KVM I can just press my keyboard and let's press it once again let's go to computer number one so that we can do some tests right over here now we have three uh, USB ports here at least fast USB ports two of them USB type A and then one USB type C with a five gigabit speed so let's select this target drive and let's select in this particular case we are going to select the SSD which is this one here so select and let's do a speed test so that we are sure what we are getting and there we go roughly 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes which means yes we are getting five gigabits out of the usb type c and we will also get from these two now the ones below i have connected the gamepad and a keyboard and mouse and we also have sd card right over there which we can test out if i select my sd card right over here just select it and open it up it will give us roughly a maximum of 100 megabytes per second this is the maximum that we will reach on this particular kvm the same on the reads i've done this test before so just spoiler alert you will get the same result right over there so it's not the fastest test we have seen but to take pictures and movies from our sd card to the computer will be just fine one of the things that we will have access is that everything that i've connected to computer number one at this moment once i switch to computer number two my ssd and my sd card and everything else the peripherals and whatnot will be also connected to computer number two so if i go here at this moment computer number two has a uh, internal hard drive it also has a secondary hard drive in this particular case ssds and then it has the ssd which is here and also the sd card which is this one right over here if i take it off we will see that it will disappear from there and if i put it in it will appear really fast everything works just awesome and now if i go back to this computer we will see that everything will 
plug into that computer and we can also see that sometimes the windows are not really sure where they are this happens even if i have just the computer connected to the displays and if i disconnect cables but everything will be on the place that i left now one more speed test left and this has to do with the ethernet port which is one gigabit my isp has at this moment 500 megabits per second so we know that the ethernet ports either are 100 1000 2.5 5 or 10 so if we are reaching 500 megabits per second it means that we have a 1 gigabit ethernet port which is being shared uh, between both uh, for example if i want i can be downloading a file on this computer and i can also be downloading right over here anything else that i'm doing watching a video or what not so there we are one gigabit speed now in terms of the workflow this is basically it is as simple as this everything is clean everything is organized so really really great i can then work on this computer if i'm playing games on the other one i can switch from one to the other in terms of the displays they work individually but if we want to play some games and i will show you on screen a few images in just a few moments but if you are going to get the d23 and you want to configure for gaming in one big display so we just need to come here to the uh, configuration in terms of nvidia go to the surround and then expand displays mine is in portuguese sorry about that but uh, it's the same thing i just need then to select one times three and then select the displays that i've got which are these three right over here if the order is not correct then we just need to swap it up and we will have the resolution that we uh, can have in terms of maximum now in this particular case it will give me 5760 by 1080 because these are three different displays and i would suggest for gaming if you are getting your setup right now that you do with three exactly the same uh, display so in this particular case if i remove this 40 inches and i place another 27 inches that would be the best experience possible so that i could have a maximum of 2060 in terms of resolution for the three displays and to enjoy games a little bit better now talking about games and shared this small detail with you one of the things that i did test out was racing games like f1 which is really really cool to be played on a immersive setup with three displays and those kinds of games are really really cool the experience that i had with the av access t23 has been great so far no issues whatsoever i also tried a uh, flight simulator which is also a really cool game and the experience was really really awesome <laughs> So in terms of feedback, if we want a KVM to control two computers, so far I'm having a great experience with the AV Access T23, not only on the productivity side and fastness uh, in terms of changing and waking up the computers that we were working, but also in terms of gaming, if that's something that you are looking for. And that is it. This is the iDock D23 docking station KVM, which allows us, as you could see, to manage 3D displays and to full-fledged desktops so that we can not only use them for productivity but also for gaming. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.